Shalom ku isaha ya gaciro bavandimwe bakunzi banje bisa ya gaciro kaze kandi Shalom shalom my brethren beloved of our value welcome Kaze kuri televiziyo o na radio o Welcome to TV o and radio o Ndetse ni mboga nkora nyambaga zitandukanye and different platforms Iyi ni isaha ya gaciro This is the hour of value Reka dusenge Let us pray Mana urakoze ku isaha ya gaciro God, we thank you for this hour value. In your name, Lord Jesus. Speak with us and speak with us. Lord. May your Holy Spirit be with us. Use me and my interpreter. May we be a value to people and may they be blessed. In your name, Jesus. Amen. 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 Turi mu cyumweru cyanyuma kirangiriza ukwezi kwa cyukwa kane. This is the last week of the month of April. Iminsi iragiye. <laughs> Days are going fast. Ejo bundi tu turangiza umwaka wa 2022 none tugeze mu kwa gatano ni bitangaza. Tugiye kunyira mu kwa gatano. Just recently we celebrated the new year of this year as we were closing the last year now we're almost in may tugiye mu gihembwe turi mu gihembwe cyakabiri ariko nacyo tukigeze hagati deja tugiye kunyira mu kwa so we are in the second quarter of the year and almost in may which is the end of the second quarter the mid of second quarter karibu mwese so welcome you all amahoro ya yesu abane namwe may the peace of jesus be with you eh turi ku itariki uyu munsi ya 2020 eh numunane 2029 it is uh it is april 29th eh aho turi mu giterane muri atlanta and it's at we have a conference in atlanta eh mukomeze mu ryoherwe nibiterane bya atlanta ni muri georgia muri leta zunze ubumwe za america continue and be with us follow us and enjoy this conference in georgia atlanta eh amahoro ya yesu kristo abane namwe mwese may the peace of jesus christ be with you all mu kwezi kwa gatandatu the month of june icyumwe cy'ambere tuzaba turi muri denmark copenhagen the first week of june will be in copenhagen in denmark to have ku cyumwe ku wa mbere tuzaba turi muri Suede iyo de Bor cyangwa se Gothenburg in on Monday we will be having a conference also in uh, Sweden yeah iyo de Bor Gothenburg Gothenburg tuveyo tujya mu Bilgi eh i Bruseli and we will go in Belgium in Brussels dero mukomeze mwitegure so be ready for those conferences Mokome as well. Mite good. Be ready for the conferences. Iman is abagirenes. God will bless you. Amen. 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 Okay, they come. Navgiki. Tu tu je ku 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 mutkwe uicho tu gani ro yomo se sibzo. Yes. So we have a special topic for today. Eh, kuko ukunu kwezi tu ge kurangi zo kwezi kutkwinji za mo. So as we are ending this month, I just want to remind you because this month is a month that is uh, accelerating us into our destiny. Destiny acceleration. Uh, this month we went into death uh, telling you or teaching you about things that can help you and accelerate you to your destiny. Number one. We talked about the commandment of Jesus. Yesu When Jesus commanded to untie the donkey. The commandment. Or the the commandment or the orders se or the principles can accelerate you into your destiny. Yes, so Jesus said, untie this donkey so the donkey was able to enter into its Again, destiny. Yesu it carried Jesus until Jerusalem. Mzukuri, yara, 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 yara. So that was its destiny. That was its purpose. De, 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 bajane, 
ariko agahe gato ko nyine akaba ariho ajya mu byimana ya mugene gutwara Yesu kuva i Bethphage ukageri Yerusalem ngiki icyo kari yareragenewe ibindi zari detail so you may live as long as you want or as long as that you lived but the short time you like the, as a time from Bethphag to Jerusalem that is all that you were created for that is all that you were meant for that's your destiny so the donkey carrying Jesus let's say was only for 4 hours and maybe it was 10 years old but the 4 hours was the purpose of its existence so that was its destiny the remaining, all the uh, the rest years was a just years of wandering. But that day, those hours, because of the commandment of Jesus, the donkey was able to enter to the destiny. And number two, number two. That, ush, that ushers a person to the destiny or accelerates a person to the destiny is a prayer. Uh, Number one. The commandment of Jesus. Number two was the prayer. We looked at the life of Jabez. He prayed. And his life was transformed. And he was entered into destiny. There are prayers and prayer. God I heard him. God granted him what he prayed for. Jabez. Jabez. The Bible says. No, no. The, the tra tradition. Uh, tradition says that he didn't die. He was he was taken as like an Enoch. Because he asked God not to ever die. That evil should not harm me. So they they explain this this word means I shall never die I shall not die. So when we pray, we are accelerating to our destiny. Number three. Number three. That ushers you into your destiny. It was, uh, which was last week. Those who followed me, I was in Edmonton, Canada. We talked about good counsel. Good counsel leads to victory or leads to your destiny. It leads you to your victory. We looked at, at councils. A person can give you an advice. And will take you to another level. Will take you to le low level to higher level. Amen. Amen. Inama. Council. It is a very powerful thing. Everyone who was given a council. Good council. It led them to victory. Amen. Amen. We looked at the life of Nathan. Counseling Abigail. About the kingdom that was supposed to be given to Solomon. Solomon, Solomon became a king. So, because of the good counsel, the seer told the mother of Solomon, Beth Sheba, so the, he was able to attain or to gain his the victory over the kingdom. So, this week, as we close on this month of April, another thing that can take you to your destiny is a person that God has planned for you. There is a person God has put in place for you that each time they will usher you into another level 
take you to another place. Dero. Tukavuga gutya ngo. So and we we'll say this, the theme say ngo guhura numuntu uzakingura ahagenywe hawo. So the topic of this week will say meet a person who will unlock your destiny. Last week was a good counsel. Previous week prayers. And the commandment. But this week it's a person. So let us read the first book of Samuel. Verse 10. Chapter 10, verse 9 to 13. So it was when he had turned his back to go from Samuel that God gave him another heart and all the signs came to pass that day. On verse 10. When they came there to the hill, there was a group of, pe of prophets to meet him. Then the Spirit of God came upon him and he prophesied among them. Maze abamu menya gakera. Bamu wonye ahanura na nawa wahanuzi. Barabaza nyabati. Mbese bibaye bite kuri mwene kishi mbega sauli nawe ari mu bahanuzi and it happened when all who knew him formally saw that he indeed prophesied among the prophets that the people said to one another what is that has come upon the son of kish is so also among the prophets ngese nawe ari mu bahanuzi ngo Umge mubaturage baho araba subizati araba subiza aravugati mbese aboni benende micho cha tumia viva ichiridi mugani ngombega sauli na we arimuwa hanuzi. Then a man from there answered and said, "But who is their father?" Therefore, it became a proverb, say, is so also among the prophets. Ngonuko avaho, amaze guhanura, ajakukanunga. And when he had finished prophesying, he went to the high place. Uyuni Sauli. This is Saul. Sauli benshi mumuzi kumami. Many of you know so as a king. But it didn't just happen. It didn't just happen for him to be a king. No. No. He was supposed to meet with a person. And this person is to change his history. If you look back to the history of Saul, every time you will see him connected or linked to Samuel, from day one he started, and to the day where he died, and he died after Samuel's death. But he grieved a lot. But he said, I will go look for Miriam to raise so, uh, Samuel for me. So he knew that he Samuel is the one is the reason why he is where he is. Even the time where he will depart, he will want him to come and bring him back. The Bible says as he start he came where Samuel was standing. God gave him a new heart. 
And on that day, all the signs came to pass. Amen. Amen. As they met with Samuel, when he met Samuel, some things happened in his life. In this book of first book of Samuel, chapter 9, uh, Deba Kumurongo Nichenda. Yes, chapter nine, first book of Samuel. Kumurongo Achenda, Ichenda, Ichenda. Nine, nine. Gokera Kose Muri Mobisraeli. Gumunduwe se Iwe Jaga Gusova Nuzima. Yavuga Gatia Ati. Guino do Sange Bameng. Kuko Kuru Witwa Umuhanuzi. Kera Yitwa Gabameng. Muri Israel. Formerly in Israel. When a man went to inquire of God, he spoke thus, Come, let us go to the seer, for he who is now called the prophet was firmly called a seer. They were firmly called a seer. Ariko nyine ibyo religion iyidini bamwita ubuhanuzi. Hari mu ijambo guhanura kanso utanga ubuhanuzi, utanga inama. But due to the, the religion that they refer to now prophets, someone who prophesy, who gives a counsel. So Saul was looking for something with his servants. So they had lost their donkey. So we are tired looking for this donkey. What about we go to the seer and help us to find the donkey? What if they had started earlier or sooner? But after being tired, looking around, uh, not finding it, eh, finally, no, no. They finally decided to go look for the seer. <laughs> People get knowledge after being full for a while. So after they got tired wandering in the mountains looking for the donkey, they say, now I think we should go to seek for the seer. Saul and so said, very well, let us go look for the seer. So they, they, they went into the city where the man of God was. Unknowingly here, he was already in the way of meeting the person whom God has planned him to meet. We will take him to his destiny. So they went to the place where As they went uphill to the city, they met some young women going out to draw water because back then young women or women would be the one to fetch water. So they met them in the city. And they said to them, is the seer here? Do you know if he is around in the city? Because uh, the seer will go the whole city from Beersheba to Dan. He will go judging for Israel, judge, uh, judging them around the city. But on that day, the seer was in the city. He lived in Rama. In the mountains of Rama. In the part of Benjamin. So this is where Saul actually comes from. And they say them and said, yes, he is here, just ahead of you. Hurry now, for today he came to this city. 
urumva ko yari yaje nawe yaravuye mu ruzindo so actually that day he had come to the same city ngo kandi abantu bagiye gutambira mu rusengero rwo gukanunga bamusanze yo bajye gutamba kuko bamenye yaje and because there is a sacrifice of the people today on the high places so they are going to meet uh, the seer because it's a day of the sacrifice muri make barimo binjira mu masezerano kandi Samuel nkabamenya yarazi ko agiye guhura n'umuntu agomba kwinjiza mu masezerano ye so they were going to uh, to meet someone special someone who will enter them into their destiny and so meeting the seer he knew he was going to receive it kumurongo wa 14 muri gice cha 9 ngo bahera ko bazamuka bajya mu mudugudu ngo bakinjira muri uwo mudugudu bahuriraho na Samuel ngo asohotse aja gukanunga ngo Samuel amenya yuko Sauli ari w'Imana yatoranije urumva Samuel arabimenye so they went up the city as they were coming into the city there Samuel was coming out towards them on his way up to the, his place ngo kandi umunsi Sauli arasuka ngo witeka yari yaraye abihishuriye Samuel now the Lord has told Samuel in his ear the day before Saul came the day before Saul came ngo aramubwira ngo ejo nkamagingaya nzakoherereza umugabo uturutse mu gihugu cy'ababenyamini uzamwimikisha amavuta abe umwami w'ubwoko bwanje Israeli ni uzakiza ubwoko bwanje amaboko y'abafilisitia kuko maze kwereba abantu banje kandi gutaka kwabo kwangezeho ah urumva ko bamenye we yarabizi ariko Sauli we yishakira indogobe hana habari Amakuru yarazi So on 16 tomorrow about this time I will send you a man from the land of Benjamin and you shall anoint him commander over my people Israel that he may save my people from the hand of Philistines for I have looked upon my people because their cry has come to me Ngo nuko Samuel akira bukwa Sauli akimura bukwa ngo witekara mu bwira ati oh dore ngo uyu wa muru nakubwiraga ngo uyu ni uzatege kubwa ko bwanje Samuel arabizi ariko nyiri kubikorerwa we ntabyazi So on 17 so when so Samuel so when Samuel so so the Lord said to him there he is the man of whom I spoke to you this one shall reign over my people so Samuel the one to bless or to anoint so he knew that he was going to do so but so who was going to meet with his person they didn't know he had no clue Yeah Sauli yegera Samuel. So drew near Samuel. Umwirembo ry'umudugudu aramubwira ati. In the gate and said to him. Ngo nakwinginze nyobora aho inzu yabamenya iherereye. And he said please tell me where there is Sears house. Urumva bamenya we azi bamenywa. Niba ndabivuga gute. Uri kumenywa we bamenya aramuzi. So the seer already know the one looking for him. Ngo Samuel amusubiza ngo erega ninje bamenye. And Samuel answered to Saul said I am the seer. Ngo nje imbere tujye gukanunga kuko uyu munsi muri busangire nanje. Maze cyo mu gitondo nzagusere nzagusa nzagusezerere ngo usobanure ibiri ngo usobanurire ibiri mu mutima wawe byose. Ay ay ay. Ijambo ryakomeye. I am the seer. Go up before me to the high place for you shall eat with me today and tomorrow I will tell you I will let you go and I will tell you all that is in your heart Ngo ariko kandi rero ngo ibyindogo bebyo zimaze iminsi itatu zizimiye tiziguhagarika umutima zarabonetse mbese ibyo gikundiro byose byo muri Israeli bibikiwende Si wowe se ninzu ya soyose But as for your donkeys that were lost 3 days ago do not be anxious about them for they have been found and on whom is all the desires of Israel is it not you and your own all your father's house Yuzari bikomeye cyane Yeah Yaramubwiye ko ubutunzi bwa Israeli bwose ari ubwa wowe ko arashaka kutudogobe rero yinjiye muri deste aguhura gusa nawe utudogobe n'utuntu duto cyane twabonetse ariko agiye kubona ibya Israeli byose 
So Saul, not knowing what was happening, he was only anxious about the lost donkeys, only three, only few donkeys that he had lost. So Samuel had to tell him, do not be anxious because, in fact, those few donkeys have been found. But what is more important now is that everything in Israel is yours. Mm. Anyway. Without taking much of time. Aha. Here, just here. That's where the life of Saul start changing. He told him what was in his heart. He also told him of the donkeys. Lost, the lost of the donkey. Kujamuk. It was just a way of God of leading him to meet whom his destiny will be, will be uh, where he will enter to his destiny. Meaning this, the problem that you're facing today, some of them, you suffer a lot. But regardless of the problem that you're facing today, as, the, as you go looking for the solution, looking for the answer, God will slide you, will push you in the way of where you are going to meet the person of your destiny or the person to take you to your destiny. In verse chapter 10 where we read on verse 9 Verse 9 says the Bible says, so it was when he turned his back that he got, God gave him an, another heart and all the signs, everything that God has spoken over his life came to pass. May God also do the same to you. No, no. And as they came to the hill, he also met a group of prophets. So he became a mo one of them. Among them, he started prophesying the new life come, the new friends come, everything in his life start changing. So may God do the same to you. May God help you and connect you to a person who will take you into your destiny. A person who will explain all that is in your heart and you feel well. And you understand your destiny. And you enter into your destiny. So I desire for you to be connected or to meet that person. So we are entering the month of May. May you start the, ma the month as standing into your destiny. May the peace of Jesus Christ be with you all. God, I thank you that my sister, you've given them who, the person you planned to meet. My brother, you brought the right person you planned them to meet. This family, you've given them the blessed children you want. This job is given to the right people. And this life, you brought the perfect things. I thank your Father that everyone that you have predicted, they are going to meet with their people at work, Murugo, in their family, Mubana, in their children, Mubuzima, in their lives, Burimus, every day, you'll be taking them in the right way bagenewe. that you have predestined. Yesu. Thank you, Jesus, that you have connected us with that kiri. person. I receive Mwezi it yesu. in Jesus' name Umami wachu. as my Lord. Amen. Amen. Imana igumbugisha. God bless you.